This is Rick Sandberg with Hawkridge Systems. In this blog, I'll cover a technique for doing an accurate swept cut around a cylinder body. This is a question we occasionally get from customers, and there are numerous approaches. Here's one that should work for many cases, especially those cases, cases where the cut is not necessarily a pure, nicely formed helix. Basic steps are to create a sketch that you then wrap around the cylinder and use that wrap output for your path and guide curve in a swept cut. So the first step is to create a plane that's tangent or offset from a tangent to that surface. That's a requirement for the um, wrap command. Then we'll create a nice sketch that's going to give us the form that we want to wrap around the cylinder. I've done a reference line or a set of ref reference lines that I've then offset with the offset tool bidirectional and capping the ends. Once we have that, we can use our wrap command to wrap that form around the cylinder using the scribe option. The scribe will actually put edges into my cylinder body where that sketch intersects it and create an extra face in my cylinder. I can then use the edges created by that wrap to create a profile sketch that we can then use to sweep cut around my cylinder. The key to the profile sketch in this case is to use Pierce relations between points in my sketch to define how it's interacting with my edges from that wrap and then also important aspect is to not let it do any of the normal vertical and horizontal automatic relations as you're drawing lines or or rectangles so if it does that just delete them out and then do parallel perpendicular anything like that but not vertical and horizontal that's going to try and <clears throat> try to hold the profile in one orientation as it moves around along the path and clearly we need that profile to twist and come away from vertical and horizontal as it moves around that that path. So now that we have a nice profile and we have edges for a guide curve and a path, we can do a swept cut feature to do that. Now to use edges for my path and guide curve, I will need to right click and use the selection manager and then select these edges. I like to use um, an inside group of edges or the group that has the tightest curvature, smallest radius in it as my path. And I'll do the other side as a guide curve. Same process, right click, selection manager, select those edges, accept it. In inspect how that profile is moving along my path and guide curve. If it's twisting away from it, you may need to use one of our options under orientation twist type. In this case, I would use follow path and first guide curve to ensure that it's going to do the exact twist that we would want. This should um, succeed and complete successfully, but if it doesn't, we have some techniques to remedy that as well, so no need to panic yet. Let's th let this complete, and then we'll take a look at a technique that we can use to still do this successful, um, create this feature successfully, even if my swept cut fails. All right, so this one actually worked just fine, but if you do get the swept cut failing for whatever reason, and typically it's going to be failing, doing, failing due to geometric considerations, what we can do is then go back and do the same process with a normal swept boss base. Select my profile, same process here, selection manager, select these edges, do guide curves, Again, same process, selection manager, select my edges. And in this case, I'm going to uncheck merge result. 
So now I have two solid bodies. That swept boss base should certainly succeed without any issues. Now what we need to do is delete out the face that was created from the wrap because this is typically going to be the reason why this is going to fail. So I'll select de delete face with the delete and patch option. Select that face. Delete it out and now I can do insert features combine with the subtraction option and that should almost certainly succeed. This has been a quick overview of a technique for doing a swept cut on a cylinder. Thanks for tuning in.